So there's the big wind turbine. It's in the front, the one with the black blades on it. That's the one I think it's six or 700 watts. I'm not quite sure. And it's going down. I got two poles that are actually screwed to the roof of our guest cabin. There's right there, the brace I made up. I stuck a rubber tire. There's a rubber tire right there. Uh, so it kind of cuts down vibration. And it's going down to the base right there. Did the same kind of setup as the other Liller turbine. And it's a one inch pipe. This is the horizontal pipe to a uh, fence post. So this is my base. This is like a two by 10 pressure treated. Cause that's all I found. And here I used a hockey puck and I got four hockey pucks under this two by 10 base. And that should cut down on the vibration from the wind turbine. And then that's bolted into my deck. And this yellow cord here, that's the lead that goes through the wall to the uh, charge controller slash brake gizmo for the wind turbine. Small wind turbine, you can see just in the background behind the big one. I will eventually take it down and put it on the back of the cabin. I gotta find a suitable spot that my wife likes and it doesn't make too much noise. So that's sort of like a fall project because it's just way too hot right now and the roof is hotter than heck when the sun comes out. I had this idea, since I got the big wind turbine turning and the little wind turbine turning, why don't I put them both into the charge controller. One's AC, one's DC. Go over and see what the charge controller is doing. Go into the messy workshop. Yeah. There's the watt meter. It's not really showing any watts, so I wonder why that's the case. This side here, so there's this here and here, these two here, is the DC wind turbine, that's the little wind turbine, and then uh, there, that's the DC terminals going to the battery. And there's the AC coming from the big wind turbine. 